Hello and welcome to this presentation highlighting how simple it is to send your cut or print and cut jobs for production using Digital Factory. Digital Factory Print and Cut is the only RIP available that includes native printing and cutting technology built in. Now whilst there are other RIPs that may support cutting, they all use third party plugins to achieve this, resulting in complex workflows. Digital Factory provides a smooth, seamless solution regardless of your preferred design application. In fact, it's compatible with all the leading design apps such as Illustrator, Corel, Photoshop, SignLab and more. And even if you're running your design app on a Mac, you can still output your jobs using Digital Factory. Here we're going to be taking a look at the workflow for sending a print and cut job from Adobe Photoshop. The first step is purely an initial setup process and that's to define a CMYK or named color. So under Q properties, I am going to choose the color actions tab and then add a color that we can later assign to any paths that we need to be defined as cut lines within our chosen design application. I'm going to opt to assign a specific CMYK value to a color, which is simply going to be 100% magenta. From the context menu, it's also easy to adjust any of the cutting properties such as speed and force. Digital Factory will support more printer and cutter combinations than any other RIP. In fact, whatever setup you have, you can be pretty certain that there is a supported workflow solution when using Digital Factory. If you take a look at my queue manager, you can see I have a standalone printer, as well as a hybrid device that both prints and cuts installed. So let's say, for example, I produce a print and cut job using my HP DesignJet. What device can I then use to handle the contour cutting? Well, the answer is virtually any. I could use my standalone cutter, or I could even use the cutting facility of a hybrid device such as a VersaCam. By choosing this option, my prints will be produced on the HP, but cut registration marks that the Roland recognizes will be laid down at the same time. This flexible system, together with Digital Factory's ability to add unlimited production queues, makes it a joy to use regardless of what you need to print, cut, or print and cut. Okay, so we're now gonna set up a print and cut job to send to Digital Factory from Photoshop. Now, any working path in Photoshop will be recognized by Digital Factory as a cut line. There are a couple of ways we can create working paths in Photoshop. For this example, I've used the pen tool to create the path that will be my cut line. And if I click on the paths box here on the right and then hold the control key while I click on this layer, you will see that the path becomes active. These dotted lines around the outside of my image are what will be the cut path when it's sent across to my rip. The file can now be sent to Digital Factory. The workflow here is so simple. By going to the file menu and selecting automate, I have the option to send my job straight to my queue, a feature that's added automatically when Digital Factory is installed. Next, the Document Options dialog is open, and I'm going to select the option to import working paths as cut lines. Now on the right, I now need only assign the same CMYK value as we previously set in the RIP. With that done, you will see the job appear in the queue in Digital Factory. The layout and visual aspects of Digital Factory really set it apart from the competition. As well as a print and cut preview, I can use this drop down to select just the print preview or just the cut preview, which makes it so easy to check that all the elements of my job are correct. Another time saving feature is the ability to apply an inline to the cut path. A small adjustment here will bring the cut line just slightly inside the image, which is great for eliminating white around the boundary of a full color print. Remember, you can set up as many additional cues to manage any number of elements of your jobs. And what's more, the setup wizard makes it so easy to do. Adding additional cues is as simple as clicking this symbol in the queue manager and then following the step-by-step -step guide to complete the setup process. Specific print modes, devices, and even nesting options can all be assigned to a custom queue, removing the need 
to constantly change settings to suit one particular workflow. With my print mode selected, this job can now be sent. If a print and cut job was to be produced on a separate device, or if you needed to hold off from cutting for lamination, the cutting job will be held in the queue until you are ready to send that data. Regardless of the design application you prefer or the hardware you use, Digital Factory Print and Cut offers an easy, no fuss workflow with less steps than any other RIP. If you would like to know more, check out the website at www.cadlink.com or see your Cadlink dealer.